Let us try some examples to determine the axis distance of reinforced concrete elements. We have three elements here. The first one is a simply supported beam with the size of 150 x 450 and 1 hour fire resistance. The second one is a continuous beam. The size is 250 x 600. It is meant to resist fire for one and a half hour. And the third one is a slab, a two-way slab. The Ly per Lx is equal to 1.5 and it is meant to resist uh, fire resistance for 1.5 hours. All four edges are supported. That means it is an internal slab. In order to solve this, Questions. So we will have to refer to Eurocode Part 2, Table 5.5. You will get this table, and this table is meant for simply supported beam. So it is used to solve the first questions for the simply supported beam. It is stated that you need 1 hour fire resistance and the dimension is 150 times 450. So you will refer to the fire rating of 60 minutes and you will see the um, width of the B. The width of the beam it will be 120, 160, 200 and 300. So 150 it will be somewhere in between here and you can go for interpolations but you will not get a round number it will be somewhere around 36.5 or you can go for more conservative measure you can always go for the larger uh, a so in order for you to determine the axis distance this equation apply so you get 40 substitute into the equations so your axis distance it will be equals to 50 mm and the second question is a continuous beam one and a half hour fire resistance so you will refer to the next table table 5.6 for a continuous beam the fire rating is one and a half hour, that means it's 90 minutes. Okay, and the beam width is 250, that means your A will be 25. So your axis distance it will be 25 plus 10 mm. So in total it's going to be 30 mm. The third question is RC slab. So you are looking at the two-way RC slab. So you're looking at the table 5.8, two-way RC slab. So you're looking at this column here. And the Ly per Lx equals to 1.5. That means it will be this column. Your fire rating is one and a half hour. That means it's a 90, 90 minutes. So your minimum thickness, it will be equals to 100 mm and your cover your a should be 15 and it is noted that you have a star there that means your nominal cover should decide the cover of your slab instead of the axis distance so this is the solutions for these three examples